so now we set up dagger so we know with dagger it's uh, my dependency ejection and the main focus of dagger is we want um, to create objects but we want to re reuse them and I'll show you an example so in our email class oops we are pretty much taking an email a API which is over here our email API just pretty much takes a OK HTTP client and sends email so every time we create an email we don't want to create a whole new email API um, we want to reuse this so what I mean is that every time you create an email 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 equals new email new email AP, email API new page to be client and my um, email dev landing at gmail.com example now let's do new email new email Okay, so with each of these objects, we're creating a whole new email API and a whole new OK HTTP client. So that's we're wasting um, resources. We're creating three objects that are pretty much identical. Three other objects, will, which are identical, and we don't really need to do that. We only need one, and a reference to one pretty much. We, we don't need to be creating new email APIs on the fly if we have the same email address and everything. So one, so Dagger is going to help with that. So first of all there's a thing called called modules which that just um, pretty much injects our dependencies. So we can create a module like email module so and we have to um, state it with the at module. At module. And now we know that with email. Keep on doing that. Okay. With email, we need a email URL. Now that we can't on my on my dependency inject because it's a string. It's not really an object for say. So we have an email URL. And because of that, we need to create an constructor around that. OK. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create, create references to our email and our email API. So we're going to do email, returns email, and provides email. I'm going to do email API in the client. I'm just going to return new email the client in the email URL. Now, what we're why we're putting email API because this is um, dependent on the client, and and Dagger is actually going to automatically just reference you the email API client that's using. It's not going to create a whole entire new one. And now we're going to do the email API. So we're going to do the email API. Provides email API. We're going to do email, I mean, uh, okay, HTTP client. Client. Return new email API. And we just need a client. And that's going to take whichever client that's um, available. And now we need to create a um, a module specifically for OK HTTP client. And we 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 really want to separate those. Um, we're just called network module because it doesn't directly focus on any of those. 
what I mean is you don't want a module with a whole bunch of classes you want to split them up so those are the email modules this is the networking module so this is pretty much just um, okay HTTP and that's it so um, what we want to do is now we have to create our okay HTTP client dependency provides provide okay HTTP client and now I forgot but we have to do our provides in our singleton. Singleton pretty much states that we only want to create one of these no more. So at provides at singleton. I'll just copy this, and that's it. And that's it. The next um, uh, video we're going to be learning about um, components, which is going to bridge our um, email module and our injections to the user that can actually instantiate email and use email.